All right, today I am at Hemlock Falls in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know where we are in Georgia. We're a few hours away, but look who I'm with. Joseph's with me again. XT3. XT3. I'm using my Nikon D850. He's got the XT3. We're shooting some autumn colors. You can see behind me here, some beautiful color. Uh, yeah, it's, it's peak color here where we are. So this is just on the way to the trailhead. We haven't even gotten to the main part of the trail yet. And uh, we already stopped for a photo. It's a beautiful path. And there should be uh, a creek, a long creek that follows, a, uh, I don't know, I think like a two mile trail all the way to uh, this waterfall called Hemlock Falls. So we should get a lot of good photos today, but as long as we get just a couple of really good autumn photos, then I'll be a happy man. So, Joseph, how are you liking your XT3 shooting your fall colors? I'm loving it. Yeah. What, yeah, what, got, what lens are you using right now? This is the 18 to 55, 2.8 to 4. It's the kit lens. The kit lens. Yeah, the best kit lens ever. Yeah. It's insane. Yep. It's uh, one of the only ones that has optical stabilization. Yeah. Oh, oh, and that's right. You have the OIS. OIS. Yeah. So I was having to bunt my ISO on my Nikon 24 to 70, but he has the Fuji OIS, so he can shoot it like one second and get a usable, usable photo. All these colors are so good. Alright, so we have hit the Hemlock Falls trailhead. It's amazing out here. It's like a fairy tale. It's insane. Joseph's still hiking with me. Got his got Joseph's got a new tripod. Yeah. XT3. So we're gonna be getting some really good waterfall shots. Yeah. You can see behind me. All the color here is just unbelievable. Down there is a beautiful creek called Moccasin Creek. Yeah. It's starting to rain because every time me and Joseph get together, it has to rain. It's one of three things happen. It rains, or we jump into a different like time dimension, or enter a different realm, and just completely escape reality. Every time that I'm with Joseph, I find a new location that just literally makes me feel like I'm disconnected from reality. So, the key is, contact Joseph. I'll put his email in the description. Just go hiking with Joseph and you'll find amazing places. Yeah, or we get lost, but you'll still get good photos. Ah, oh, man, this is cool. All right, well, we'll turn the camera back on if I actually find somewhere to take a photo. But for right now, just a beautiful scenery, like, all the way around. This is the only time that I've ever thought, you know, maybe a 360 camera would be cool. Yeah. So they oh, could yeah. just... I came along here and they can go on. Yeah, you can just swipe in every direction. Since we last talked to you, which was about five minutes ago, now it actually is raining pretty good out here. We switched to our rain jackets. We're still making our way to the falls because rain in photography just means more vibrant and reflective autumn colors. So we're still getting closer and closer to the falls. You can probably hear water in the background. And we turn around and show you all over there, there's huge falls following the creek. Uh, man, I would more call this a river than a creek. This thing's crazy, this water is rushing. So we're just being careful on the trail, not to slip. There's a lot of rocks and branches. We're just being careful. We got our keens on. Got our keen boots on, that's right. Not a sponsor, by the way. And uh, yeah, we're going to the falls. So quick tip for people photographing fall photography. If it's raining while you're trying to do it, a polarizer is a really, really good tool for the job because with all the wet leaves, you'll have a lot of um, water reflecting off of the gray skies or the sunny skies, whatever you're in. And it's gonna put a lot of reflection on the leaves that's not gonna give you good color. But if you crank your circular polarizer and you eliminate that reflection, then you get all that sweet color out of your autumn leaves. There's a little hot tip for you. All right. We made it to the falls. It's still raining pretty good, but we made it. It's a beautiful area. A bunch of leaves are over here in the water. And you can actually walk up and get right up to the water so we can get a cool composition. 
Joseph's setting up his X-T3. Oh yeah. We're breaking the tripods out and uh, see if we can do some longer exposures and get a really nice autumn scene. It is raining, that's a downside, so I'm gonna have to wipe my lens off. But uh, whatever, I couldn't ask for, for a better day. It is um, just beautiful out here and there's not one other person. In the summertime, I'm sure this place is swarming with people. Uh, today on a Thursday in the rain, in autumn, peak color season too with all these colors. Not one, not one person here but me and Joseph. Can't ask for better. All right, let's go shoot this thing. All right, so you can see how wet I'm getting here. My camera gear is pretty much soaked, but uh, this is what most of them are made for. So I have my Zeiss Milvis 21 millimeter lens. It's a manual focus lens. So I've got some rocks and leaves in the foreground. I've uh, cranked the manual focus to as close as it can get to the rocks. And uh, then I focus in the background as well. So I'm gonna take two shots in Photoshop and focus stack them so I get uh, depth of field all the way through. I'm shooting at F8, ISO 64. Nothing else to it, it's about a one and a half second exposure. And we're uh, getting more and more rain by the second. So my gear is getting soaked. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take some more photos so Joseph can get out of the rain and stop filming me. <laughs> All right, here's Joseph's X-T3, soaked in the kit lens, which is not weather sealed, but we're putting this to the test. We'll see. Is the X-T3 really that weather sealed? I guess we're going to find out. We will. So, how'd you like shooting landscapes with a tripod, Joseph? <laughs> tripod changes the game. It changes life. Like, this makes you focus on it a lot more. You can be more intentional. You can take your time. Yep. And you can really get exactly right because hand holding is sort of you want to be quick. Yeah. And this is... Yeah, it allows you to just kind of slow down. Yeah. Focus more on the creativity. So we just packed up with uh, shooting at Hemlock Falls. Unfortunately, we were pretty much forced out by the rain. You can see from my hat, it is just soaked. Our camera gear's soaked, we're soaked. Look at my pants. We're just soaked. So the trail is starting to flood now. We're just trying to make our way back safely and slowly. And we're hoping that the rain freaking stops so we can take photos of this lake. Uh, up here in the middle of nowhere called Lake Burton. It's got some beautiful fall colors and looks like a little picturesque fishing village lake. It's got little like tiny little white houses on the lake and some fog rolling in. So I just hope that this rain holds off because it just, I mean, we were, we put our gear through hell for like 15 minutes and it's just not practical to do that any, any longer than you have to. I'm okay getting my gear out in some sprinkling rain and even a little bit of heavy rain, but it was just, it was soaking everything, so yeah, you know, hoping it wasn't a bust photographically, but regardless, there's a lot of fun hiking out there, and it's just so beautiful being here with my best bud, yeah, Jojo. Yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> oh yeah, it was the Kappa hat. Any Monsters University fans out there? Gosh, it's flooding so much here. None of these puddles were here on the way, on the way to the falls. All right, I'm pretty much using my. Pro Media Gear tripod is a walking stick right now. I have the spikes out on the feet. So I'm just using it to help me get up these slippery rocks. Uh, all right, well, I guess I'll turn the camera back on if we end up getting some lighter rain and we actually get to take another photo because we drove a few hours out here to get this photo and I only took three That's photographs. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Going down these rocks with this water. It's gonna be, all right, well, it's, it's about to get pretty dangerous. So I'm gonna put the phone away. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm just tired of walking in the rain. It's not very fun now. It was okay at first because I was in high hopes that it was gonna stop raining. But I had to walk back through that entire trail, look at all those beautiful scenes and not take any photos. Why are you raining? But this is what happens. You're a landscape photographer. It rains, it snows. Sometimes it's just the conditions don't work out. I got one photo, one composition that I took from my D850 and my Zeiss 21 millimeter. 
I'm hoping that's the money shot. If not, I'll probably be back tomorrow, as long as it's not supposed to rain. Not cool. Even though the final waterfall shot didn't turn out exactly how I would have liked, on days like this, you have to keep your spirits high, have fun, and always realize that good or bad, landscape photography is always an adventure. Check, check out, check out how wet these pants are. These, this is a little bit of the dry area. <laughs> My pants were light gray. Now they're dark gray. I'm completely soaked. My my everywhere is so. It's getting <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna get in the car now. See you guys in the next vlog.